making his debut and Jordan McClements who is 1-1-1 one, one, and one. Referee Mark Woodard <laughs> and Although Aaron uh, we know he's got a boxing background looking straight for the tape down here Oh, and a nice throw, might hit, nice hit through, it might keep control on the floor. It was a good Tayatoshi style uh, throw. Love kicks here from Jordan. Looking to defend the takedown. And again, a good, a good trip takedown there from uh, from Aaron Owen. He looks to have um, quite good wrestling, maybe a bit of a judo background. I think uh, for the combine exercise, he must be working a bit of everything. He says BJJ submission wrestling, and uh, he's got a boxing fighting background. Yeah, but he, he definitely was going straight for clinch there, not clinching. And good reversal there from Jordan, taking top position. Letting a couple of shots go to the body. Let's see if Aaron's active off his back in his guard. Not really, neither fighter really doing much. The uh, referee will stand them up quickly if there's nothing going on. Oh, and he's, he's trapped the arm. Maybe for a triangle. triangle. Good posture there from Jordan. He switched to the arm. Jordan stands up. He needs to step over the step over the body here. Put the leg well there, Aaron, and uh, looking to pass. Yep, Aaron now taking top position, he's controlling the hips well. Good defence here, pushing on the head from Jordan, he's, he's doing the right thing, he needs to keep pushing and get those hips out. Looks to be using a lot of energy doing that as well though. He's also um, trying for the fighter who's attempting to take it down, on, but Aaron on top here. Let's see if Jordan looks for any submissions from his guard. He's controlling the inside bicep on the, on the side close to us, head control. Not much going on on the ground at the minute. Bit of a stalemate. Yeah, yeah, he stands ill. Yeah, if um, Mark would if there's no attempt to pass and no attempt to submissions, there's nothing he can do but stand the fighters up. Again, straight away Aaron's looking for a clinch and um, a possible takedown. Although he says he's got a boxing background, he's uh, keeping his hands very low, not. I don't think he's thrown a punch yet in this fight. Oh, and a trip takedown to Jordan. He's got a good takedown there. End of the round here. Strike to the head, I think, here with the right hand on the jaw. Obviously by accident. Well, that was the first punch of the fight that he's thrown. <laughs> Maybe his accuracy is poor hit him cleared on the jaw. Or not, as the case may be. 
<laughs> so how do we go that round, Andy? I think uh, Aaron probably uh, took that round for me. He, um, he had the better trips and the takedowns, some uh, decent judo throws, and uh, had a couple of submission attempts on the ground. I wouldn't say Jordan was outclassed there, I think it was uh, a fairly even round. Yeah, he got a, a takedown himself, but there was um, a tire tossing a sort of Gary from uh, Aaron. Check you out. So how are your Japanese casters coming along there? Both fighters ready for round two. Aaron was sat down between rounds, had his little stool. It's a final match of the corners to wiping the water up for the fighters' safety. Both fighters looking fresh, ready to go. John looking very eager to get out there. You think maybe he knows he was um, a little behind on that first round? I think his tournament will have told him it's, it's more difficult to know when you're actually in there. You, you're not 100% now, you're performing and everything, so it's better to have there. Uh, and defending well with the underhook now, um, Aaron going for the takedown, he had the underhook and look, looking for um, to get the hips in, but Jordan defending, getting the underhook back. Some leg kicks coming in now. Nice uppercut to the body. I think Jordan's definitely having the battle of the strikes. That was, that was a lot better. Um, Jordan this round, he threw a kick. He saw the um, the takedown attempt coming and defended straight away. His yeah. timing looking very good on. Uh, Aaron falling to his back, catching leg on the way. Jordan looking he needs to, to really drive down. here. He can't, he can't just wait there. It's a drive, drive. It's not used to grabbing over the leg, you need to drive and finish that that takedown. I think Jordan's got pretty good balance uh, for in, in the clinch yeah, and the takedowns. He's, 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 he's controlling the head well as well. He gets away and both fires back to the feet. Oh, Aaron's definitely looking to catch that leg. Uh, I think Jordan knows exactly what he's doing now. He uh, caught in the first round, I don't think he's falling for it this round. I think Jordan looks better than a 1-1 one, one and 1 fighter, I think uh, he's picked up the experience in those three contests well, leading up to this. I was about to say nice uppercut to the body, I didn't notice but from uh, from our angle but that was a little bit low. Yeah maybe just a touch. You wouldn't have thought it was intentional but he did get hit on the chin with the right hand at the end of last round so possibly. Fair's fair. No, to be honest, I, I, think, I think that was um, completely unintentional. Yeah, I'd agree. I think uh, referee has to give the warnings when that happens, though, just to uh, keep the fight nice and clean. Both look strong in this clinch. I think uh, Jordan's got excellent balance and... Uh, Aaron yeah. looks very, okay. very strong. I think Aaron looks um, the more technical of the two of the clinch, but Jordan's got some uh, good strength and natural balance. Oh, the these kicks are a lot sharper. Yeah, some very sharp kicks there. Jordan seems to found his range with him. Aaron just bullying his way in. Getting close. He needs to finish this takedown, he's uh, no use just holding against Cajun, and there he does. Jordan needs to be using the cage to try and stand up here. Looking for reverse, he's got his hips out. Could get back to his feet from this position. Difficult to see if uh, Aaron's controlling the wrist here. Coming to the end of the round now, I think he's just going to keep him pinned against the fence. Jordan working some decent strikes from the bottom there. And who do you think took that round then, Andy? That was... I think I'd, uh, I'd possibly give that round to Jordan. I quite like the way he worked, the, the, the sharp leg kicks he was using, the body shots. And uh, 
I think his balance is excellent. They even got um, dropped him with one of the leg kicks. Now this is interesting. Uh, Aaron's actually sat on the floor in between rounds here. Do you think that there's anything, any reason for that? Maybe they forgot the stool this round. Jordan looking nice and relaxed in the corner. Taking deep breaths. Very calm corner work. It's nice to see. Yeah, they've got Aaron stood up in, in that corner now. I think he still looks there. Fairly fresh himself. Need a big round from one or other room. If, if go by our score, it would say it's one round piece. Let's see him come out and have a bit of a battle this round. I think we will. Uh, hard to tell, but um, just on looks, but Jordan does look like he's really hungry for this. We gave it up, but a big kick there to start the round from Aaron. Yeah, and now it's Jordan really can too. Like. Now, can he use it? Do you think he can uh, drive his head up and get a pick up here? Be nice set. I think we've seen uh, a huge set down from these two. Yeah, I think we've seen a couple of uh, trips and throws but no big pick up takedowns oh throws guard interesting I think it was a, a weak guillotine attempt to be honest didn't really have it secured and that's the second time this fight that uh, Aaron's fallen to his back maybe he's uh, comfortable in that position although he doesn't seem to go for submissions too much from guard or hasn't done as yet what's your uh, take on somebody who lays on the back and uh, and doesn't use any movement. I think any fighter who's on his back should be actively looking for submissions, and especially in these amateurs. If they're not doing, they will be stood up very quickly. So it's not of your opinion that someone should uh, lay on the back with the legs open, doing nothing. No, definitely not. You'd like to see him actively working with that position. <laughs> and a stand up there from Mark Woodard. Rightly so as well. As we said, he was uh, lying on his back, doing nothing there. Uh, not much going on. Jordan and Rails past the guard. And the back striking on the feet. Still like the sharpness of Jordan's strikes. Is, uh, is He's got a very kick. sharp right low kick. He's uh, off balance there and managed and took down. Aaron stopped defending that uh, kick and started jumping with it. We saw that earlier, it's um, an interesting way of, uh, well, I won't say defending the kick, but taking it. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I think that's why people keep falling over. Could be. So now we're in the opposite position with um, Jordan on his back and Aaron on top. With Jordan opening the guard, look. Maybe looking to work for something. Aaron plugging away with uh, body shots on the ground from top position. A few hammer fists put in there. And Jordan kicking his way out, maybe try and get a stand up. Trying to control the head, but I think he's letting pass just a touch now. Jumping body shot there to finish from uh, Aaron. That was a really good fight. Again, we just uh, took that and uh, I'm glad I'm commentating, not judging. Uh, we'll leave that to the professionals. So over to uh, MC Andy Sledge Buffer for the uh, official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a massive round of applause for both the warriors.
Pracujem po, ale